going good and then uh, I got attacked by these giant wasps it's like running through the jungle got this wicked adrenaline rush now and it hurts a lot and uh, now I'm all freaked out fucking wasps it's time to go up into the unknown the unclimbed dragon's horn and I think we're maybe as, as much as halfway up the thing. Hopefully we don't get rained on. Hopefully we make it to the summit before dark. Um, could unplanned to be up here. Hopefully it doesn't. Hopefully a lot of things. Look at all that fog. It's crazy how quick the fog moves in. Woo! Nice dude. We're gonna make it down eventually. Tomorrow. Yeah. Hopefully we don't get stung by any more wasps. Check out my sweet rain jacket. I got my rain jacket. <laughs> but this is sweet. It like covers the butt. My butt didn't get wet at all. And uh, I mean, it's kind of styly. It's kind of styly. Like it's got it. its best. You know. I don't care if I get my arms wet. I just want to keep my core dry. So, uh, a little recap what went down there. Well, it rained on us twice on the climb and. Climbed a 510x route. Summit was up there, but uh, came here to get a view. It's a pretty sick view. Well, we made it up anyway. <laughs> Welcome to Tioman Island Cribs, <laughs> the ghetto dirtbag edition. This is um, this is our our new place. Pretty sweet. Flush. Yeah, can you see it? So comfortable that uh, we had to get up, stretch our legs, <laughs> stretch out for a little bit. <laughs> and I was starting to get weird cramps in places. And you guys are missing out. I wish we could be here <laughs> with us. Just, I'm um, just mostly because it would probably make it warmer. Um, but anyways, there was no guarantees that we were gonna get this line in before the monsoon came and just shut everything down for climbing for good. Standing on top of the North Dragon's Horn was totally a surreal dream come true. Tagging a completely virgin summit. Dude, we sent. And we sent the rib. The pals went great. Can you believe a bird can make that noise? Dude, that is crazy. Just gonna break the glass on the camera lens. Seems like it might rain today. A few times. Seems a bit better. But I didn't get struck by lightning. Now we were looking at the South Dragon's Horn, looking at some of the prouder unclimbed lines. 
We couldn't believe it, but the prominent south buttress had not been climbed. After this, Bebo area here. One tree, big tree. This area. What's going on there, Lucha? Uh, sticker brush. The approach is very, very, very hot. It's like hiking in a sauna. <laughs> what do you think? That thunder sounds scary. Got Kind of ease onto a hook, pray that it's gonna hold, and then pull out your drill kit and start tapping in a bolt with your hand drill. It's completely thrilling looking down in the South China Sea and cruising up on this impeccable granite. <laughs> Love hanging from hooks. So much fun. I don't know where to go, it's like so hard to tell. What's going on? Well, we're about, we're about two pitches up. Um, uh, getting a little soaked. Trying to figure out whether we bail. Most people would bail. <laughs> You'll notice that Lucho's got his rain jacket. I've got my rain skin. The skin is totally waterproof. Also looks like it's about to rain in half an hour. If we were not to get rained on today, then it would be the first time that's happened on this trip. <laughs> Picking a plum of limes in, in such a and look at this, this is our, this is where we're at. And there, there we're going. Oh yeah. It's, it's no exaggeration to say this is some of the best rock on the planet. I mean, it's just perfectly clean and sculpted. Wild pockets and flakes. And some of the most unique. I've ever climbed on. Such a gift. It's, it's just so much fun, you know? So, people ask why I travel halfway around the world to climb this silly rock, and you know, I don't have a good answer, but I just can say that for me, it's everything. First goal was to push the route to the summit using our fixed lines, but for us, you know, the route wasn't finished until we came back and redid it in the day. And with the monsoon pretty much imminent, it felt like a race against time for sure to get the route done and then send it before one soon shut the climbing season down for good. Yeah. This is scary. Mm. Alright, keep going, come on. Oh, we had finally pushed the route to the summit. We've uh, prepped up our uh, free line, brought it to the summit. Now we just have to go and uh, climb it in a day. So it's a beautiful line, huh, Lucha? Yeah, it's a great line. First light in the jungle, heading up, hopefully to send a route. It's not more fortuitous looking weather. It already rained this morning, um, but Hail Mary! <laughs> risk and reward, you know, there are some really big runouts. There were places where for sure if you fell and you could break your legs or even worse. So, you know, yeah, it's dangerous, but that's I guess part of the allure and part of the thrill. Two and a half pitches up. Psyched. The weather just might hold, we might get to go to the summit. I forgot that I kind of ran it out a little bit on this pit. Yeah, we're so psyched. Totally worth it.
worth it to uh, travel halfway around the world for this. I think there was moments when we were getting rained on and getting worked where we weren't sure if it was really worth it, but right now it feels worth it. It doesn't rain on us. Um, <laughs> that would be nice. Just to explore the beauty of the world, really interact with it on a, a raw, visceral basis is such a gift. It's, it's just so much fun. Nice job, huh? Nice job.